Woke up this morning feeling fine Had something special on my mind Well, last night I met a new girl in my neighborhood Something tells me I'm into something new She's the type of girl that's not too shy Today is a Pebble Fest. Uh, this is the seventh annual Pebble Fest at Lodai Lake. Uh, this annual event is uh, together by Headwaters Kayak. Uh, if you've been following my channel, you probably know Headwaters Kayak, uh, my buddy Dan. So every year he sets out dozens of kayaks uh, and for people to come back and uh, either demo some models or just get on the water. And uh, with the nominal fee of twenty dollars, so you can enjoy the water pretty much all day long with twenty dollars. And uh, we got live music going on. We have food truck. So today, uh, I'm actually gonna demo a couple kayaks. And uh, this one is a uh, Edeline Caribbean 14. So I always wanted to try the Edeline, uh, just because uh, even though Edelines have plastic, they are totally different from a typical uh, polyethylene plastic they is used on the kayak so I think they use some kind of ABS uh, they have a special name for it but I can't remember right now uh, so this is a 14 footer what really stands out with this uh, Eddie line is the plastic is really really smooth kind of like you know it's got the fiberglass feel to it so it glides actually really well uh, yeah, it takes no time to get up to speed, uh, it takes no effort. Uh, like always, I'm using my uh, Bending Branches Navigator Plus. Uh, this is more of a low angle uh, paddle, but I use as a high angle uh, paddle stroke. But yeah, this kayak moves. I am really digging it. I can see why people um, like the Eddie Line. Some people are like hardcore Eddie Line fan, and I can see why. So it's kind of breezy right now. I'm paddling kind of a uh, headwind, and uh, still takes no effort. Um, I wouldn't say this is as fast as my stealth, but from other 14 foot kayaks that I've uh, tried, this uh, definitely glides better. As far as the top speed goes, I don't have the uh, GPS, but yeah, when it's compared to maybe like a wilderness, uh, Harpoon 140, I think the top speed is going to be pretty similar, but getting up to speed and you're yeah, just gliding when not paddling, uh, it just glides really well. So I believe they have two different versions of this. This is the one with the, uh, the traditional uh, buckling seat and they have the, uh, the frame seat as well. this long distance. I probably wouldn't want to paddle this uh, more than five miles per day. This particular one does not have the water. Uh, if you have a water, it will track better. Uh, but tracking is not bad actually for hand water. It's not bad. Uh, right now it's just that there's a pretty good breeze going on right now. So. But tracking is 
not too bad for a 10 footer and uh, definitely uh, this thing is wide enough uh, to easily stand up on so this one is frame seat uh, does have a low and high position so let me go up to the high position from here okay not quite there yet there you go so now that it's in the high position it will be much easier for me to stand up on it there you go so very stable look at that and if you wanted to engage secondary it really wants to put itself back on the primary it will be much easier if you have some kind of rope that you can uh, grab onto and stand up but uh, yeah and uh over here, my buddy Steve is testing out the uh, Feel Free Mokun 4.5. Um, I have a video on this, so I'll leave that in the description. I'm actually pretty impressed at how well it paddles. Yeah, th actually, this is it one of my really nice. one of my favorite all-around paddle kayak, which can handle, you know, obviously flat water, lake water, paddles pretty well, so you can go a little distance. It'd be a great riverboat. And. Uh, um, something that is capable of using it in the ocean as well. Before all these pedal drives got popular, a lot of people actually used the uh, Feel Free Mocha and 4.5 out in the ocean. So with this guy, I think this is really ideal in a places like this, like Lodi Lake, Small Lake. And uh, I think this will really, really shine in the river, like really shallow river. Um, sometimes becomes like in inches deep just like a typical 10 footer it turns on the dime and uh, it, does, it does take a little bit of effort to get up to speed but at the same time it's not a barge you know some of the kayaks they're so why so heavy? It's pretty much your barge paddling, but still, it's got good paddleability. By no means, this is not a heavy line. By no means, this is not a moving 4.5. So, I just tried the heavy uh, line wheel. Oh man, super fast, super efficient. Uh, but if you guys thought that a uh, Hovi Rebo 13 was tippy, try this guy. Man. It was TV for me too, but super fast. Yeah, so we are having so much fun right now uh, at the Paddle Fest, trying out different kayaks. Uh, this happens every year, um, so obviously, if you're watching this, this already happened. Uh, so stay uh, tuned for next year. Uh, for visit uh, Headwaters uh, website or Headwaters Boathouse's website. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more and go outside the outdoors.